Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching Guns and Gadgets on this channel. You'll get Second Amendment news every single day, no matter where it happens in the country, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. And I'll bring it all to you here. So subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in the know about the constant struggle, this constant fight to make the anti-Americans follow the Constitution. I wanted to bring you uh, up to date with something that's happened and we're going to the original constitutional carry state, the original permitless person, the permitless carry state, the only state that never instituted some type of, uh, you know, concealed carry permit scheme, right? Although things have changed recently. We're going to Vermont, uh, the safest state in the union with very lax gun laws for a couple hundred years. Uh, there's a lawsuit that was filed this, this past week here, and it's looking to get rid of some Vermont gun control. Uh, they're, they're challenging two laws, the first of which is the high-capacity magazine ban in Vermont. A lot of people probably didn't know they had one. Their law there was uh, passed in 2018, and it, uh, you can't have more than 10 rounds for a rifle and more than 15 rounds for a handgun. And one of the things when I read this case, this filing was 50, some 50 pages, 50, 52 pages, or something like that. Uh, one of the things I read in here, it was a quote and I wrote it down because it was really, really good. Uh, they said that in challenging this based off of Bruin, uh, and they said that magazine capacity is a critical component of self-defense and limit, limiting that jeopardizes the safety of the gun owner. And in their arguments, they referenced the case in Florida where uh, there was a home invasion and the victim was unable to stop their attacker because they used all of the rounds in their 38 revolver, 38 special revolver. Um, sorry, I get distracted. I forgot to shut my, my watch off. Uh, so, yeah, the defense will, I mean, the, uh, the state will probably say, well, if they, you know, had a semi-automatic pistol, things would have been different. You can, you can... You can see how they will operate and, and try to go around that. But the the fact is there. Limiting capacity puts the life of the gun owner at risk. Uh, I mean, even cops miss 80% of the time when they shoot. Uh, and they're supposed to be really good. I'll tell you, they're not, believe me, I, I tell you. Um, so that was a good quote. It was a really good quote on, in this lawsuit. So it's challenging the large capacity magazine ban. And the other one is challenging the 72 hour waiting period to purchase a firearm that was passed last year when Governor Phil Scott, who is a Republican, uh, just failed to, he didn't veto the bill and he didn't sign the bill. So it passed without his signature. And, you know, right away, a lot of people who aren't familiar with Vermont are going to be like, well, why didn't he just veto it? Well, Vermont is very, 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 Democrat. Although up until recently, they've been very like moderate Democrat. They've been freedom loving Democrats. You know, the, that part of the, of the, of the, the party that you very rarely see anymore. Uh, the makeup, I had to look this up. Uh, I knew it was strongly Democrat, the makeup of the state legislature. But in 2022, when this happened last year, they had enough to override the governor's veto. The house which has 150 members in Vermont. It was 109 Democrat to 38 Republicans and three others. And they only have 30 members of their Senate and it was 23 Democrats to seven Republicans. Uh, so they railroaded it through. And uh, now we'll see if a federal district court judge is going to do what so many other federal district court judges around the country have done. And that's to hold these unconstitutional, illegal, un-American laws to the Bruin standard. And uh, we'll see. This was just filed. We'll see what happens. They're asking the judge for an injunction in the immediate so that law enforcement can no longer enforce this until the case reaches its fruition, like so many others in the country. So I will keep you all up to date. I just wanted you all to see that, like, I, I, everybody says, like, oh, you know, my state's so bad, and I get it. I lived in Massachusetts for far too long. Uh, and in fact, people message me regularly, like, why haven't you said anything about my state? Chances are, y'all, I have. Just go back and look. I've do, I do, I don't know, it's like 3,300 videos I've done so far. So I know it can get, get lost in the shuffle quickly. 
But uh, yeah, it's this is this is the safest state in the union. So the gun controllers were always saying, you know, the proliferation of gun violence, it's Vermont. There's more cow. Well, not, now it's a little different, but for a while there were more cows than people there. Um, but now, uh, you know, you get to uh, those Democrat-run cities, things things change. You know, this is the Bernie Sanders state. It's uh, you know, it's the it's the some of the Democrats there are very very left wing, but a lot of them for, for decades haven't been. But it's happening in Vermont too, y'all. So I just wanted you to just to get this information, pass it along. People need to understand what's going on in different parts of the country because what happens in one state will infect other states. We've seen what happens in Connecticut and move over to other states. What happens in California, move over to other states. What happens in Massachusetts. So there's a lot going on. So I would love if you would like this video and share the information. I would love that if you are interested in America, in our constitution, and you think that what the men and women who were around in that time and who had a big part in forming this country, if you think the folks, the dudes who wrote this, the, the, the documents, if you think it meant what they actually wrote, I will keep you in the know on what happens when these anti-gunners, these anti-Americans, this Communist Party constantly trying to undo what they wrote, they gave their lives for. All you gotta do is subscribe and I'll keep you in the know. I'll see you all in the next one. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's about. You are your own first responder. Nobody in the government will be there when you need help. Just like that. See you in the next one, y'all. Take care. Yeah.